Vision Forward's In Focus team presents... Hello, this is Luke Scriven here at Vision Forward. Welcome back to another In Focus Tech Talk. In today's Tech Talk, we're going to be looking at the OrCam Read. This is a uh, very nice device from OrCam, who you might be familiar with. They have a couple of devices on the market already, which are really cool, little optical character recognition devices that go on the side of glasses. But this particular one is designed to be handheld, and uh, it is also designed to read aloud to you, and it does a fantastic job. So how does it work? Well, it's a pen-like device with a camera at one end. And if we want to read, all we have to do is hold up our reading materials, hold the pen up, and we're gonna hold down a, a button on the top of the pen. When we do that, a red arrow is projected from the end of the device. And so we're gonna put that on the page where, wherever we want it to read. And when we let go of the button, it's gonna read that area for us. Let's give it a try. And I press the camera button again to stop the reading. So that was super fast and it's very accurate, which is what you would expect from OrCam. And uh, very easy to do. Now the red arrow that uh, shines out of the end of the device onto the page is actually really good contrast and uh, it's quite visible against the white page. So even if you are low vision, I think that that could work quite well for you. And this device is quite a bit cheaper than the one that goes on the glasses. So I think this would definitely be a good solution if you're looking for this type of technology, but something on the cheaper end. Uh, in addition to the picture button on the device, we actually have two other buttons, a plus and a minus. And uh, those will do a couple of things. So they will change the volume of the device if it's not reading to us. Or if it is reading to us, they will skip forwards and backwards through what's being read to us. So uh, if I go ahead and press them now while it's not reading to us. Volume down. Volume down. We can hear the minus turn down the volume. and the plus turned up the volume. Now let's get the OrCam read to read to us and we'll use them to skip forward and backward. And I'm also gonna show you how to pause and that's done while the device is reading to us if we double press on the picture button and that will pause the, the reading. So let's give this a try here. Use high contrast. Click on the switch to turn the high contrast. So I'll skip forward. Now I'll skip backward. And now I've paused, and while I'm paused, it's gonna beep. And that lets me know that it's paused. To resume, double press on that picture button again, and it will resume. Switch to turn the high and to stop the reading altogether, just press once on that picture button. And there we go, it stopped. Uh, so we do have some neat transport controls there for pausing, forward winding and rewinding and that definitely makes our reading experience just uh, that much nicer. The final button on the device uh, is the power button and so that's located kind of toward the, the top of the device and that one will allow us to put the device to sleep and also turn it off and turn it on. So there's not too many buttons and the ones that are there are very tactile which makes it very easy to use. Uh, one of the things that I was surprised at when I received this device was just how light it is. It's very, very lightweight. And also it's really nice. It feels really nice to hold. It feels uh, premium quality. So I did like that about it. Easy to put in a pocket, but it comes with a lanyard as well. So you can hang it around your neck um, if you want to while you're going uh, about. And you can charge it via USB-C. Super easy to plug in and charge. Takes about, I think uh, an hour and a half or a couple of hours to get a full charge. So not very long. There is a menu that you can go into to change various settings, uh, but you can also change settings using voice control. This is another of the features. And so we can do various things with voice control. We could, for example, uh, connect our OrCam Read to Bluetooth headphones. That's one of its features. So then we could listen on the, on the headphones. Uh, there is actually a headphone port built into the device as well, a 3.5 mil uh, headphone port, which I really like because you don't always get that these days. For example, with the iPhone, uh, it comes at a bit, a bit of a hassle. But let's do the voice control. While the device is not speaking to me, um, I can double press on the, the uh, picture button and then give a voice command. So I'm going to ask it to change the volume using my voice. So here we go. Volume up. Volume maximum. 
And there we go. So without pressing the volume increase button, I actually uh, did that with my voice instead. Very cool. Now, one of the features that you can use with the voice command is smart reading. And unfortunately, I don't have that on this particular device, but let me describe it to you. Smart reading is a way of taking a picture of a page of text and asking OrCam to find specific things on that page for you. And uh, so the example that I've seen is, for example, you uh, get a menu and you initiate smart reading. The OrCam scans the, uh, the menu and then you can ask it to find, for example, the desserts and it will find the desserts and just read that area of the page to you. So it's a, a nice way to more conveniently scan a text rather than having to listen to the entire page. You would initiate that with a voice command. Uh, so you would tell it to go into smart reading mode. It would then take a picture of whatever you're holding up in front of you. And then you can then ask it to find specific things on the page. A very cool feature. And uh, it does cost a little bit more to get that, but it's quite unique. And I think it uh, could be quite powerful and quite useful for an individual. Well, thanks for watching this video on the OrCam Read. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video and uh, maybe leave a comment and let us know if you like the OrCam Read or if you have another OCR device that you use that you like and uh, if so, what it is that you like about it. We release new videos every Friday on assistive technology topics and uh, you know, don't miss out on those. Make sure you subscribe. If you'd like to get in touch with us to talk about any assistive technology products uh, or just anything in general, then you can reach out to us 414-615-0103. You can uh, email us in focus at vision-forward.org and you can find our website at vision-forward.org. Thanks a lot for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.